Okay. Okay, you guys, we're going to start. Everybody. Can you get an introduction? Or no? Just Hi, m my name is Raphael Anderson, but they know me as Sputnik. I was born in 1957 at St. John's Hospital, and my mother and father brought me down here to Venice where I was raised. I was raised in a very vibrant African-American and Latino neighborhood. We did everything together. The Mexican hat dance, da -da 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 -da. we did everything together. This was a vibrant African-American community. I say that again. This disgusts me when you have books totally erasing us. We have Grammy award winning jazz artists come out of Venice. We've had my cousin, Dana Matamore, Super Bowl rings with the San Francisco 49ers. You have black people that went to Major League Baseball. We've done a lot of things in government, working, and I don't understand it, as if we're invisible. You need to read The Invisible Man. I'm not a Hollywood ectoplasm. No. I'm real man. Flesh and blood. You totally ignore me. I understand why you can run around here in blackface now. To write a book in 2014 and exclude me? When all the while, you want to be me. You want to tan like me? You want to walk like me? You want to look like me? But you hate me. You must hate yourself. How could you do something so blatant? But I understand it. I remember when this area was low income. The ghetto, even though we were the closest to the beach, but that's what racism does. It blinds you to any kind of rationale, because we all know the number one theme in the business is location, location, location. But unless you're black and brown, then it's not. So the further away you stay is the most valuable. That doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. And you wonder how we got somebody like Trump? This is how. You totally ignore us. This is embarrassing. I would never bring my mother, my uncle in here to be beaten down like that. That's terrible. What kind of people are you? I'm not talking about the Republican right-wing conservative dude. No, I'm talking about the liberal white guy sit next to me. Stand up. Oh yeah, I'm with you. And you let somebody write something as disgusting as these books. The exclusion of black history invented. That's horrible. But see me. I'm not ducking you. 605 6th Avenue. I'm right there. I'll give you some documentation. I'll in introduce you to some people. Come meet them. Find out about yourself. This is horrible. Horrible. And this is the state that we're in in America. My people have done great things in Venice and Santa Monica. Great things. Great people. From Dr. Quinn, oh my God, my father, the Castile, I can name all and all, Donaldson's. Mm. We let a man, 100 years old, I'm not even going to tell you his name because look it up. You didn't even acknowledge him. The only person that you will acknowledge black is Arthur Reese, Tabor. So begin to understand how come Kaepernick, how come you can allow people to gun us down, don't say nothing. You're allowing them to take our history in front. So that begs the question, what kind of people are you? Mm, that is terrible. That's terrible. You will applaud me on a field of play and boo me in public. You won't even acknowledge me. I want to remind everybody this is 2019 and I'm in the liberal state of California, SoCal. Yeah, I'm proud of it. I'm from Venice. Yeah, it's tattooed on my chest and it's backwards on my back. 
I'm finished from through and through. You can't do this to me. And I'm not going to go out quiet. I remember a poem, but the last part was everything. I'll be pressed to the wall, dying, but fighting back. Mm, mm, mm. But that's the position that you put me in. Peace. Mm, mm. That's terrible.